Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to retrieve documents based on the query using Boolean space model with a simple solid example. First, I will discuss what is Boolean space model. The Boolean space model represents documents and queries as a binary vectors where each term corresponds to a dimensions. In a Boolean space model, we use the following matching principle. A document matches a query if all query terms are present in the document vector. Let's take an example to understand the Boolean space model. Assume that document space is defined by five terms network, CSIT, India, VTU, and graduate. And we have three documents containing the following terms document one, CSIT, and India. Document two contains VTU and CSIT. Document 3 contains CSIT, VTU and India. If the query is CSIT and India, we use Boolean space model to retrieve the top two documents. In a Boolean space model, the document contains the terms, then it is noted as 1, otherwise it is noted as 0. Document presentations are shown in the below table. In the document 1, CSIT and India is present. For that, we will note it as 1 and remaining all are noted as 0. In the document 2, VTU and CSIT is present. CSIT and VTU we will note it as 1, otherwise we will note it as 0. In the document 3, CSIT, VTU and India is present. For that, CSIT, India and VTU we will note it as 1 and remaining 2 are noted as 0. Now we will write the query representation. In the query representation, CSIT and India is present. For that, CSIT and India is noted as 1 and remaining all 3 are noted as 0. Once document and query are represented in vector form, next step is to apply the matching principle and retrieve the top two documents. Here we use the logical AND between the documents and query. That is, if the both the terms are present in the documents and query, then we will note it as 1, otherwise we will put as a 0. Here we can see that for the document 1, the network is 0, 0, so it's 0, 1, 1, so it's 1, 1, 1, it's 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So document 1 for the logical and we will get as 0 1 1 0 0. Similarly for the document 2 we have CSIT as a 1 and in the query also CSIT as a 1 so we will get 1 for the CSIT and for VTU we have 1 in the document 2 and for the query it's 0 so we will get 0 and the final answer for the document 2 we will get as 0 1 0 0 0 and for the document 3 uh, the CSIT will be 1 in the document presentation and in the query also 1. So, we will get as a 1 and in uh, India it is 1. In query also India 1. So, we will get 1 and uh, in the document 3 VT is 1 but in the query it is 0. So, we will get 0 and the final logical AND result for the document 3 we will get as a 0 1 1 0 0. Finally, we compare the query result and logical and operation. If the both matches then we write yes otherwise we will write as a no. Now we will check for the query and a logical and operation. Here query is 0 1 1 0 0 and document 1 also 0 1 1 0 0 both are matching so we will write as yes and for document 2 the query is 0 1 1 0 0 and document 2 is 0 1 0 0 0 both are not matching so it is written as no and for the document 3 query 0 1 1 0 0 and document 3 is 0 1 1 0 0 so it is written as yes it means that the boolean space model retrieves the document 1 and document 3 for the given query I hope the concept of boolean space model is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Subscribe for the more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.